Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing some more Modern on the Untap Open League. This is my deck, it's Selesnya Bogles, Good Times. Just exactly what you expect, the only... Well, sometimes you see Leyland Sanctity in the main board, mine is in the sideboard. Instead I have Tremoka's Command and a few more enchantments. And 19 lands, just as you do. My opponent is on Grixis Death Shadow, so 4 Shadow, 3 Snaps, 4 Street Rates, 4 Grimog Anglers. A whole bunch of removal, and guess what we don't care about? Spot removal. So, I think I'm going to be in an okay shape. That's the hope anyway. And, let's see. Oh, I want to turn the brightness up on my screen just a little bit. I keep my brightness at the minimum most of the time. Ooh, hello. So we have one land, a glade cover. We are on the draw. My opponent has said keep. I believe on the draw this is okay to keep. Even though it's a little risky, but I see Daybreak, so we're gonna we're gonna hope that gets us there. Yeah, Razor Verge into now they could just thought seize me and I could be in a whole lot of trouble. But even if that happens, I have a backup creature, so if I draw another land, I'll be able to get that. So that's the plan anyway. That's the hope. Alright. Now it's my opponent's turn. Vartik. I think that I remember is this Dinrova Horror as the uh the image for them? I'm not sure. Testing out a slightly different setup, so maybe I can bring this up just a little bit. You can see me a touch better. Bobble, okay. Makes sense. Target, oh, themselves, okay, fair enough. I guess if to decide if they want to crack a fetch to shuffle that card away, perhaps, since they haven't played a land yet. Okay, there we go. Scalding Tarn, fetch, makes sense. All right. Doing what they have to do. Going to 17, Thoughtseize. Or not. There it is. Oh, oh we have a Street Wraith. I saw 17 to 15. Thought that must have been it. Um, well, what you got? What do you have? There's Thoughtseize. Reveal all at once. And this is where Mainboard Leyline... I mean, it wouldn't have been any of these cards, though, to be fair. So we, we have to take the Scout. That's something of a given, I would think. Yep. Yeah, you're not thought season targeting yourself, unfortunately. Yep, good old Glade Cover's gone. Sends you to the Shadow Realm. No, the Shadow Realm's Exile. There we go. Alright, and then please let it be my turn. I could use a land. Land or another scouter bogle. Bobble me. Interesting. Now, how do I go about doing this? Revo okay, that works too. Yeah, I don't get to see it. Cool. Well, what's it gonna be? Draw my card? It's a land. Well... My opponent knows what that is, so doesn't really make a difference here, unfortunately. And they're not going to stone rain me. This isn't a stone rain deck. So I'll pass the turn. Now, wait a minute. If my opponent went Bobble, Fetch, Shock, Street Wraith, there are 15 Thoughtseize. Aren't you at 13? 11 now? Fetch, Shock, Street Wraith. Alright. Okay, cool. There we go. I mean, you know what the new card is. Yeah, this is how we lose a game. This is how we lose a game. Rip me. Yeah, unfortunately, that does actually help my opponent, saying that they're at a lower life total, because this could be a 1 mana 5-5. Five five. And that's a pretty decent clock, I would say. I'm going to go out on a limb. Well, either way, it was going to be a 1 mana 5-5. Five five. Either way. Yup. Yup. Now, this is a path deck. So I could... Yeah, let's not pass the turn. I could get something. I'm not going to, but I could. And we'll pass back. 
Yeah, triple hyena, Umbra. Not much I could do there, unfortunately. Get, getting double thought sees, not much I could do. Um, oh well, that's what happens. None of those cards that were in my hand would have been a ley line of sanctity in, the, in, in any case. Do, 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 do. There we go. Get 15. Alright, see what you got. Thought Scour. Okay. Target mute. Yep. Makes sense. Not looking good for T1 Glistener Elf. Unfortunately. Rip T1 Glistener Elf. Ah, we'll be okay. Itchy nose. Alright. Hey, I okay. Let's reveal that while we're at it. I wonder what you're going to take. Maybe? That's it, yeah, that's the one. We could hope, but alas. Right, let's see what we can get. That's the turn. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't get a lot better for my opponent in later games, so for their sake, it's a good thing they're winning this one. Even so, I imagine it's possible I can make a comeback. It's highly unlikely, but I, I think I can. So we start off with turn one scout. And I, this is going to get countered, I am sure. Alright, what do you say? You gonna force spike me? Actually, it's better than a force spike. It's just a one mana negate. If it comes down. We'll see. And, uh. Oh no. Response. Okay, there it is. That's what I expected. Good old stubborn denial. You do what you have to do. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. So, n I could use a land into. Hyena Umbra, Rancor, Hyena, or Spider. And that would give me a 5-3 first strike. And that could hold me hold me alive, keep me alive for just a little while. It's not looking good though. It's not looking good. Or they could just battle rage me here. With only two cards in hand, what are the odds that they're going to have another denial? Another stubborn denial. Untap, upkeep, draw. That's not great. That's not all it could be. I would like to put out the Spider Umbra first. See if that resolves. This does not have Trample. That is not a Hooting Mandrels. Okay. That sound like Ness. Okay. Cool. Play another. And that's gonna get countered. That's okay. That's what was that's what was expected. Pass turn. Okay, what you got? Serum vision. Okay. We can still potentially maybe get there. It's not looking great, but it's possible at least. Now if I draw another land, it won't be it won't mean that I can cast all of this. I'll have to play the hyena and the rancor. I'll lose. Okay. So we're going to jump. It's a weird drag. Um see if that's okay. Umber dies, yep, you know how this works. Blood Crypt. Alright, tap on tap. What you got? My turn. Alright, see what I can do. Well, there's a land. I can't not play it, but it's not going to do me a whole lot of good here, so we'll start off with Hyena Umbra. I'm assuming that's going to be okay. What do you say? 
Okay. Cool, no response. Gonna go Rancor. And we're going to pass the turn. Heck no response. Next turn I'll be able to go to four. I mean, I'm gonna lose this Hyena Umbra, and I'll have a 3-1. I'll have a 5-3 next turn, but I'll go to four and I'll game five. And then I'll go back to four. Uh, so obvious block is obvious. All right, you know the deal. You know how this works. Umber dies. Yep, that is that is a thing. Ta-da! Okay. All right, what you got? Ethereal armor. Clever girl. Clever girl. Okay, so I can make a five... What is this, five three? A five three first strike hexproof trample. And then next turn, I can put out the courage. I believe that that's correct. I can keep my opponent from attacking here. Alright, there... Oh, oops. All right, and um, now I have to pass. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Pass turn. All right, see what you got. Yeah, Shadow would be real bad for me, but I would have a, an eight, six when the time comes at least. Eight, six, first strike, bunch of stuff. Okay. See if they have it. Come on, opponent. Why am I rooting for my opponent? Admittedly, it is a little bit more fun when the opponent actually gets to play, but I want to make this comeback. I would really like to make this comeback. So I'll untap, draw, see what I got. It's a path. I would like to save that. That seems like it is worthy of being saved. Okay. One two, three, take one, canopy, doing your thing, see if my opponent has some counter magic, aka stubborn denial, cool, ooh, yeah, my computer is actually in the sunlight right now, so it's getting a little bit warm, Let's see if I can move this, a little bit. Yeah, game two. Okay. Cool. GG. Alright, so we're going to go to the next game. Uh, let's see. Hmm, so what's good against against them? So Leyline, I think, has to come in. Let's take a look at their deck. So my opponent cannot really bring in Bolt. That's not a thing. Um, you're already at the four Thought Seasons, obviously. Uh, two IOKs. Liliana the Last Hope, but that's not the, the Liliana that Leyline cares about. Erm, Ermagerd. Yeah, they don't have a lot to bring in against me, do they? This only deals with instants and sorceries. Disdainful Stroke does nothing. The alt win condition from Vryn's Prodigy is not great. I guess Kolagon's command is, is fine. See, my opponent is going to have to take out a good number of cards here. Uh, they, they don't really get anything out of Fatal Push, they don't get much out of Bolt, they don't get anything out of Dismember. Um, yes, I know, Core Spirit Dancer is a card for all of those, so they might have to keep something in for Spirit Dancer, otherwise those are just dead cards. So given that, given that, I would like for Leyline to come in. I would like for Dromoka's Command to come out, I don't think it does enough. My opponent has... Uh, let me look again to see. I don't see any artifacts or enchantments about which I'm worried. Uh, you don't count, of course. So, no seal. My opponent has no flyers. Uh, Spider Umbra doesn't look great. I keep citing out Spider Umbra. It, it is not a bad card, but it's the worst card of the ones that I have in here. So Spider Umbra probably has to go. I can't take out Path. Um, spider, there you are, down here. Spider Umbra. And one, two, 
three. Now, ethereal armor will. St- I, I want to keep courage. I would like to keep courage in. Ethereal armor will still count ley line. Um, we're gonna try it out. Well, my opponent has said they'll, ca- they'll keep. Oh my goodness. May have to raise the brightness even higher. Actually, draw seven. Oh, this is, that's gonna hurt my eyes. All right, so I'm on the draw. I have no ley line. Unfortunately, but I think this is this is still good enough to keep. If my opponent thought seizes, I have three creatures. I think that's okay. Uh, I'll have two chances to draw into a land. So I would like to keep. Keep. No turn zero. <laughs> there it is. I, okay. It would have been nice, but it, it's it is what it is. So reveal all once. And my opponent's going to see, uh, you know, so I think given that I have this many creatures, it's fine to take the Rancor to turn off the Daybreak Coronet until I get a lot of mana. Which, when I'm stuck on one land, is not so much of a thing. So, I think here taking Rancor is fine. I believe that that's correct. If I were in this spot, for whatever little it may be worth. Not a main for this deck, but that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to bring this just a little bit bigger. Show me off just a little bit more now. Also, my camera has been... uh, There's something about the color that's a little odd. It's making everything have a bit of a purple hue. That is not purple behind me, that is black. Yet, Rancor is correct. So we'll draw. Uh... One, it's going to end up being three, so might as well get to it. I would like to have white white for daybreak after all. Uh, We're going to find a card, it's going to be a temple garden, as you do. And play... Doesn't really matter, um, I don't believe it matters. Play glade cover out my elf. Pass the turn. All right. Yeah, I I do have a feeling, though, that my opponent's going to win this one. That's my suspicion. So, Bobble gets cracked, targets me. My opponent's going to ask. Accept. Very good. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. And they just get to see. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to get my coffee. Oops. Oh, well, I'm playing on a handicap. No, it's fine. I've had enough coffee today. I've had entirely too much coffee today. How about we attack first? Uno. See what my opponent does? Oh, flashing in a snappy. Yup. <laughs> Blue Doomblade. Domblade. Does that show up on a... Uh, ah, I should check next time. Okay, cool. Hello. Die, please. Die. Play out my handy dandy Horizon Canopy. You already know. I believe it's correct to play a Bogle here. Whoa, that was weird. It's definitely correct under normal circumstances because I don't have a ley line and they could have Liliana. But that is uh, not a thing for my opponent. And if I look back at the deck, I don't see any uh, any effects that make me sack a creature, just straight up a creature. Um. Wasn't necessarily the correct play, but they did already know about that, so I think it's all right. For whatever that may be worth, jeez, jeez, this this hurts. Reveal. It doesn't hurt as bad as you might think. They're, they're still gonna. Oh, courage. That's okay. That's correct. I thought they might have taken the coronet just in case I went into my twenty one draw, seemingly twenty one draw. Ooh. Okay, lava mancer's odd. It makes sense, though. It makes sense. 
We can path it to give our opponent our, their third land. So uh, that's a little awkward. Unfortunately, that is awkward. Hmm. I'm going to start off by going to combat. Yeehaw! See if they'll block. Block Bogle. Cool. Cool. And since they already know about it, play a Bogle. And they took the one. Now, I, I, at this point, I have to be careful with how many cards, I'm, how much life I'm willing to make my opponent lose. I have to be really careful. I would not like to give them too many more, and that did fuel their graveyard, unfortunately. So they can play Angler here. Uh, wait, did that come in tapped? Oh, it did, didn't it? Interesting. Interesting. EOT? I could have sworn... I would have been incorrect, but I could have sworn they were going to do that. Uh, you're going to shock themselves. It has the effect of saving them just a little bit of um, a, a few cards in the graveyard. Um, and they also lose more life, which they actually would like. Uh, so, I guess I should point out that it's going on the angler, even though I think my opponent knows. <laughs> I, I, I don't think my opponent would think that I'm being cute. Am I missing something? What is going on here? Okay, they, they got there eventually. Alright. And they have a basic. Here's a swamp. Yeah, it's island swamp. No mountain. Yeah, no mountain. This isn't vintage. We don't put mountains and we don't put basic lands in our sideboard. Okay, so it's my turn. Untap. See what I draw. I mean, that's not bad. I'm sorry, anyone that just heard the audio being terrible. Um... Okay, honest question. Let me tell my opponent thinking so they don't think I'm AFK. Okay, so this is, this is a fun decision. Very fun. I... If I... What I think I would like to do... So the problem is I don't want to attack too much more. I'm turning on Death Threat Shaman. I mean, not Death Threat Shaman. Death Shadow, same initials. Um, so what I think I would like to do is crack this Horizon Canopy, draw a card, see if I can find a one-mana enchantment, then I can play it and go to town from there, based on what I have. So uh, I would like to... Sack Horizon Canopy... Draw a card. I'm disincentivized from attacking until I'm ready to attack. Like, actual fact. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. I don't believe I want to attack here. Um... No, I, I don't believe that it's correct to attack. They have one card in hand. They don't have too many more ways to uh, to ping themselves. They, they do. Potentially, they left in Bolt to hurt themselves or to hurt me. But I'm going to pass the turn. No attacks. All right. Maybe that's incorrect. If you have another, if you think it was right to attack, I understand. Alright, EOT. Take the one. Blip, blip, toya. Melee! That's the discard pile. Melee! Find a card. Yeah, don't misclick. Let's definitely not do that. It's not a Blood Moon deck, so I don't care. Alright. Cool, on to my next turn. Ta da! Draw. Whale! Play it out. Pass the turn. You're at the magic number, bud. To be fair, if they had shocked themselves with the steam vents earlier, then I would be attacking, because they would already be under 13 anyway. 
It's entirely possible, though not likely, that they have a Death Shadow in hand, and it's just stranded there, waiting for me to attack. I can cast Leyline down the line. It will turn off uh, other hand attack effects. They won't be able to bobble me. Um, okay. It's not what the deck is supposed to do. It's what I might do. Ooh, Spirit Dancer. That's interesting. I believe that I will. I will happily play Spirit Dancer here. It will die. Of course it will. Get in the chat just in case. My opponent kills it. Pushes it. Yep. Of course I have to pay respects. <laughs> okay, so there was a bolt. So my opponent, it was holding bolt and wasn't hurting themselves. So it might have been, it might be correct now that I know that to hit my opponent. So untap, draw. Woo, I am never getting out of this spot. It's just not happening. Dude. Dude. Whale. Given that my opponent had a bolt, hasn't been bolting himself, maybe it's correct for me to start attacking. I'm about to play another scout. hi -ya. All right, cool. Main tip. Insert regret. But it's all right. Faster. If nothing else, unless they draw the battle rage as well, okay, my turn. I will have chump blockers. Well, there is that. Let's do combat first. What do you say? Taking three? All right, main two. Hello, that was odd. We're gonna crack it, go to 13. Unfortunately, we will reveal to my opponent what that last card in the hand is, so they'll have perfect information on the one card in my hand. Unfortunately. It is true, I admit. And there is a case for getting Dryad Arbor here. Um, let's see, my opponent's at 8. You know, that's not a bad idea, because that puts them on a 2-turn clock if I have Dryad Arbor. That is not a bad idea. And it also hides a little bit of information for them, too. Don't ask why I'm doing this on my turn. It's a change of heart. It's a, a change of mind, perhaps. Uh, and then I'll end the turn. So I'm going on the little dude beatdown plan. Push, just push the arbor. Dismember the arbor, please. Yeah, it's dead. Oh. Oh, we're just deck thing, maybe. Going to... F okay. So you go to five. Please. I mean, it wouldn't actually change the clock. Alright. Liliana, just to kill an arbor? That would be odd, but anything could happen. I don't think Liliana comes in, but you have so many cards to take out, I don't know what my opponent brings in. Obviously, I'm not a shadow player, unfortunately. <laughs> Come on, men. Nobody lives forever. Even bigger. Alright, what you got? What you got? Another snappy? Okay, snappy's good. Snap to... Oh, oh, bolt. Okay, this, this is good. This is good. My opponent is not in a bad shape. Not in... Yeah, not in a bad shape. Blocking Bogle. That's interesting. It makes sense, I suppose. I know that they don't have any tricks that care about these being the same name. 
Okay, and then we'll pass the turn. I still only know one card in hand. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, the Thought Scour you. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. That is a lot of cards in, in the... No, it's... Well, it's not as many as I had thought, but still, that's fine. Go to combat first. Show me another Snapcaster. Five to three, okay. Fair. No shock. It comes in tap, so, or untap, so just to clarify. And, uh, pass turn. No one even bothers going to main phase two most of the time. Uh-oh. I feel it coming. I feel a 10-10 coming. Insert battle music here. Uh-oh. This will give me maximum chumpage. Although, here comes Battle Rage. Just kill it. Kill it again. Go for it. I dare you. Although that was the top deck, I'm sure. UT Bolt Spirit Dancer? Where's the bolt? Hey, there it is. Okay. Got there. <laughs> Not yourself, Kappa. Got there. Yep. I think that's enough. GG. Game three. Maybe we'll have a slightly better go at it. Here's to hoping, anyway. Oh, uh... Well, didn't give me a chance. Alright. Um, I like it the way that it is. I don't believe that there are any of these that I would like to bring in. Rest in Peace, I don't think quite makes the cut. I think I would rather have Ley Lines. And, uh, not enough cut. It works with Snapcaster, it works with Gurmog Angler. Um... Ooh, that was quick. That was quick. So rest in peace is okay. I admit, okay, it's okay. So it, hit, it doesn't work on Death Shadow, and it doesn't work on Street Wraith. It basically, oh, yeah, when I put it that way, it limits their creature to Death Shadow, doesn't it? It's Death Shadow, Gurmog is too expensive, Snapcaster Mage is just an ambush viper. So given that, what could I take out... I really don't want to take out the Ley Lines. Uh, Ley Line is less good, A, because I know they have no Lilianas of the Veil, B, I'm on the play, so I'll definitely get a creature out first. Um, what would I take out? If I'm bringing in Rest in Peace, it shuts down enough creatures that maybe I can make a case for it being, well, hello, better than Paw? Huh? Maybe? That's, that's interesting. Okay. I think that's actually worth trying. You know, I'm gonna go for it. Call me crazy. You're probably right. I'm gonna take out some paths. I don't usually need these to clear the way. I use them for dealing with uh, Death Shadow. All right, so let's see what this hand will give me. Hello, not that one. No land hand, man. Feels bad. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. 
Okay, so this is one problem I have with the deck. It can just lose to itself. Like that. Keep scry. Well, okay. That's unfortunate, but that happens. Look at top one card. Uh, it's a land. I will put that to the bottom. Oh, deck. Bottom of deck. Alright, so I will go. Turn one, scout. Pass turn. It's not impossible that I win this, but it's not looking great either. Yeah, and we ran into Leyline and Rest in Peace on our way to five cards. Yeah, you. I only run 19 lands. It can happen. What can you do? Whoa. Got the, the light effect showing up. That's neat. I mean, I've got the long hair too, so stereotypical white Jesus with the, the light, other side, light going on. Um... Wow. Okay, cool. We're going on. <sighs> Bobble. Target you? Target me? Interesting. Okay. Again, if there's a fetch land, it's often better for them to target themselves, so they get control over what the top card is. Okay. We're taking two. No, we're not. We're not taking two. That could have been worse. Man, not now. Not now. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, dude. I'm gonna take the one. Ping. Make sure to take one here. And it will die. Die on my opponent's turn. So how is your day, YouTube? Oh, it's my turn. Maybe not. Maybe I'm okay. Let's go to untap draw. Rip. Re. Not enough e. All right. Ta-da! What you got? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Because I didn't play anything pre-combat, they know I don't have auras in hand, so there's not much of an opportunity cost for playing one of them out. I think it's okay to play one of them out. Potentially, it could give me more jump blockers later on. I think there's also a case that instead of doing that, I should have cycled the canopy. Oh, hi, J Oh, Jace does come in. Interesting. That can be a problem. It's going to smooth out their hand, if nothing else. Cycle. Draw a card. That's not what I was looking for. Whale. Whale. Okay. So, I can play the Windswept Heath. They, they still have removal, so I want to be a little careful about getting dry at Arbor. Um, I can play Razor Verge Thicket and get another view out, just for a, a few more beats. 
because of the removal that I know they still have, I would rather get this, actually. So we're going to go to combat. Going to block one. You have an O2. Cool. Hello. Nope, not what I'm trying to do. There we go. Maiden two. Play you. Pass the turn. While I'm reorganizing my field. Making a little club, that's all. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So Jace is going to flip. Good old baby Jace. Good old baby Jace. Oh, how I love thee. Yep. Draw a discard. Draw a discard. Ah, clever. Ah, uh, spirit dancer. If I had another, if I had an aura, you would be, you would be taking over the game right now. But as it is, there's a teamer battle rage in the graveyard. That's not good. That stinks. Because teamer battle rage plus Jace. That's unfortunate. Um, Jace has to die, or at least get low enough that, that doesn't matter. Please, just let me draw anything, Deck. Deck, Bogles, please? Pretty, please? Alright, Grave? There's going to be a uh, shadow. I feel it in my bones. There it is. Yep. Okay, we're dead. It's only a 3-3. Three, three. It's about to get a lot bigger, and Jace is about to flash back. What are we doing? Oh, no. Uh, X-proof. Yeah, so this is, this is going to stink. Even with an excellent top deck, I don't think I can... Cool. That is, that is good for them. Okay. Now how do I get out of this? Um... You know, another card I thought about citing out was Daybreak Coronet. It may have been the case that by taking out Spider Umbras, I took out too many cards, too many auras. Um, unfortunately, that might actually be the case. But then again, I also multiply, so it, it happens, unfortunately. All right. I'm going to pass to my t opponent. I'm going to block with... Yeah, I can fetch for Dryad Arbor. Well, this is tricky. Well, let's see what my opponent has. Being able to flash back that Teamer Battle Rage, that hurts. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Until my opponent gets to three, it's not lethal, but, well, it's going to happen. Dot sees you from my yard. Yeah. This is not looking good. Oh, they're at a 8, by the way. I think they'll catch it. I think they'll catch it. Give them just a moment, too. I mean, yeah, they have to take the day break. Leyline does actual factual nothing at this point. And they still have three for uh, Teamer Battle Rage, for that matter. Yeah, they, they found, they remembered it. It's all good. Ooh, yeah, we can't win. At this point, we pretty much cannot win. Uh huh.
thinking, I think what I would like to do is block with a scout, fetch out a Dryad Arbor. So this just gets a run over. Boom. EOT. Tick tick. 18. Find a drawber. Very technical magic term, drawber. Hey, there you are. Hey, buddy. About to get bolted. Bolt. On to my turn. Turn one. Just making sure, because they can still EOT bolt. You know, as you do. I don't want to be impatient, but... Oh yeah, my turn. Okay, cool. I don't believe I can win from here. I think there may be, uh, no, we're dead. Yeah, I was about to say, I think there may be a case to crack the windswept teeth, get a plane, say, and then play out the ley line to deal with any other effects they might have and to power up ever so slightly. Yep, okay, so Dried Arbor's a baby. Uh, to power up ever so slightly an ethereal armor. Good old plus one, plus one, you know. Blip, blip. Okay, so Jace did not, um, minus. Jace can minus next turn, though. So we're, we're still dead. We're still dead. Jim. We're still dead, Jim. Oh my goodness. Why am I still playing? So had I done that, I would be chumping with this Glade Cover Scout and I'd have a Dryad Arbor left, uh, which would be smaller. And go down, get a Temple Garden. And of course that's EOT. I, I assume my opponent's going to be okay with me putting it that way. Cool. On to my turn. Not spelling it out. Um... We're dead. Meh. We're dead. We're dead, Jim. Good game. Got me. Uh, reveal? Oh. Well, how about we just reveal this? Ta-da! How'd you sideboard? Roll to five hertz. Yeah, it does, unfortunately. And you all saw how I sideboarded, but if my opponent would like to know, I'll tell as well. G2 was for Leyline. G3, ditto, and 3, rip. So, I took out a bunch. I took out seven cards, which may have been a little bit excessive, but Thoughtseize and Inquisition of Kozlek, those are good enough cards, and especially when they're on the play, that can just tear my hand apart. So it, it seemed like a good thing for me to have. Um, and also it can, it can do a bobble, hide a little information. I see that, lol. Lava Mancer was good. Was fine. I mean, it's something. It's 
better than the cards they were taking up. And Jace. Literal, actual baby Jace in a bowl. Over pushes and dismembers. Just out of curiosity. Hello. First. Okay, out of curiosity. Trying to find out what their what their thought process was. Ooh. So you got two bit dismember and a push. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for Bolt, Jace, Lavamancer. Um oh one Lavamancer maybe. Okay. Yeah, with two Lava Mancers, um, one Jace, and a Bolt. So they could have just brought in one Lava Mancer, which, you know, fair enough. Alright. Thanks for the games. And I'll see you around. Alright, so that's it, I guess. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye bye.